Hi everyone, so I am packing and um, I actually started yesterday and then kind of, you know when you get quite overwhelmed by it and I kind of thought to myself, I'm not really planning outfits properly, I'm just kind of throwing in this, that and the other and I really need to actually put stuff on and look at the weather forecast and just see what I need to work with because obviously um, it's not necessarily hot, it's kind of England weather. Um, but also I'm going kayaking, I'm doing a hike, I've got to think practically of what I need. We need layers, um, but I also need like evening wear. Um, yeah, so I have been busy working this morning, but I thought, right, I need to come back where I've got a couple of hours before I pick up the kids from school and just sieve through it, try bits on. So I am... I haven't obviously put all this into the suitcase yet. Yeah. It's so funny because I was saying to Graham last night, usually when we go on holiday, we actually literally have half a suitcase each. I never have a full suitcase to myself and I don't know how I do it. Um, it's bizarre. So anyway, I've got a whole suitcase. This is a medium sized suitcase from Primark. Um, yeah, there was a larger one, but this is, I mean, it's a decent size. That's for sure. Plenty for seven nights. Um, so yeah, I'm going to kind of go through a little bit. I'm going to try and film my outfits actually while I'm there, if I remember. Um, but I'm going to go through just some the basic bits that I'm bringing. So I've got a pack here, which is basically, it's quite, a, I've used packing cubes most of the time until I kind of ran out. Um, they're actually from Primark. I think they do like a pack of four or something for like a fiver. So this one is basically gym wear and then kind of like, well, like active wear, like stuff for hiking, stuff for kayaking, gym wear. Obviously I can wash it as well. So I've got three sets of gym wear. So that's basically leggings, a sports bra and a top, um, which is here. I've, gone, I've kind of gone for colours that I know are kind of going to go all together. I've also got a jumper, which I can throw on lay for layers, but I can also wear that to the gym. Um, I've also got my socks and underwear that go with my gym stuff just to keep that separate so I don't kind of overuse and run out of stuff. Um, I've got a little, um, what's one of these? It's kind of like a an extra layer. It's kind of one of those thin kind of extra layered. I can just layer this up. So I'm going to use this um, for hiking or whatever. Just if we're going out, we are. Um, we've got a, like a little cruise to see the pulpit rock so that's also going to be quite handy for that um, and then I've also got this throw on which is purple which again I think I'm going to wear this for hike and then layer it underneath um, but again I can wear this other times I really love the colour it's very different for me but I really love it and it's definitely it's supposed to be waterproof so it's kind of quite useful as well if it rains so that's kind of like outdoorsy stuff I would say and gym stuff but obviously I can mix and match I've got Obviously, underwear, pyjamas. I've got a nice bag. I brought my little black bag that will go with everything. So this one has a big strap, but it also has a little strap. So it's got a big strap that goes on, but you can also use it as a little clutch. So I feel like this is kind of the perfect... This is by Ralph Lauren, by the way. Um, I got this from John Lewis last year. Um, so I've got that as basically my nice evening-y... I can I could use it for during the day if I wanted to, but yeah, it's class as my eveningy bag. Um, this is I've got one dress, one dress for the celebration night, which they always do, and I feel like it's just slightly more formal. So I've got this really nice linen dress that I haven't worn before, but it's black and it's long, it's quite fitted, it's nice, and I've got a heel to go with that. But I've also got um, it's basically this chunky heels that I'm gonna use throughout my time for evenings with sort of um, more formal trousers. But in here is basically my nice tops and the bras that go with them. You know, you've got like bras that fit certain tops. So this is my nice tops and my nice stuff for basically evenings. So I feel like that kind of needs to be separate. Um, and I've got a few different tops in there. I've got two jumpers. I'm actually gonna be wearing a jumper anyway. Um, but I've got this one, which is from River Island. I got this last year. I love it. It's so fluffy. It's not itchy. It's super nice, kind of slightly oversized. This is actually really nice dressed up and dressed down. I think with gold jewelry, a nice heel and um, like a wide leg jean or whatever, it looks quite nice. But also I've, I wear this during the day as well. But if it's cold, I can also use that for layering. Again, this one's H&M. wear it all the time. 
Again, you can wear this day and night and I always wear it day and night. I've got one blazer with me, my linen one from Next. This is the Emma Willis collection. I got it in the sale a couple of years ago. Again, I wear quite, I'd say everything kind of is quite neutral. So if it's black, cream, white, navy, blue, denim, it goes. This goes with everything. Um, and then I thought I would bring this as an extra layering piece. Um, my little j denim shirt, because I love it. Um, so I bought that as well. It's not too big. I do actually plan on bringing my gilet as well, which I'm going to wear on the day with a jumper underneath. Um, because, oh, again, great layering piece. I love wearing this. It's long, it's cosy, it's got pockets. Um, I just feel like I can layer that quite easily under and over things. Um, and then over here, I've just got a selection of t-shirts. A couple, of, like a long sleeve. Actually, I've got two long sleeves and then the rest is like oversized tee. And then a couple of them are just more like nautical style, just for daytime. That one's for my hike, that one's for, could be for the little mini cruise thing we're going on or walking around the streets or whatever of um, the different places we stop at. But I feel like you can never have too many t-shirts. It's just kind of handy. And then for trousers in here, so I'm gonna be wearing blue denim. I have brought cream Stradivarius straight leg mum jean. I've also brought the khaki green trouser, which is a great for an evening, which will go with quite a few tops that I've brought and it will go with my linen blazer. I've also bought the black um, flare. These remind me of school trousers from H&M. These are the ones I got in the sale. Um, I absolutely love these. They fit like a glove. So I've got those. Uh, again, for evenings, they look, both of those look really cute with a heel or with a flat. I did actually, I'm actually gonna put these little pumps in which are from ASOS. They're kind of the Chanel dupe, I love these. They're so comfy as well. These look cute day and night. And then also I wanted to put my black wide leg jean in. I just feel like these are super comfy and I've got a blue denim and a white denim so I thought I might as well just add in a black because black goes with everything as well. So I feel like clothes wise, um, a swimming costume as well, apart from a coat, I'm still undecided which coat I'm actually gonna bring, but I'm gonna put it in the suitcase. I'm probably gonna bring one of my long regatta ones. I've got a chocolate brown one and I've got a navy one. Um, toiletries, I've got a laundry bag. This is also from Primark. I've got a bag full of books, um, like washing stuff, extra baggies, I think. I've got a hat as well. I decided to bring, we've got a hat, we've got some sunglasses and we've got a lint roller. I feel like lint roller, especially if you're wearing linen, is really in black, really needed. It's only little, I can throw that in there. Um, I've got this little shoe organizer as well that I'm gonna put my shoes in. I got this from one of the pound, the pound stores. So you just pop the shoes in the hole and then zip it up. And I think it would just be nice just to keep the dirty shoes away from the clothes in the suitcase. <coughs> and I think, like once I get it all in there, I'll show you. But that is pretty much everything I'm taking, bar snacks, toiletries that I've just got on the side, which I need to throw in. Like I said, I've got a nice bag. I've got a backpack, actually, I'll show you that. I'm taking my standard. This is what I take out when we're doing like forest walks or something. This is from Jules. I've had this for a couple of years. But um, they actually have a Costa on board, but they don't do, re they only do reusable cups or china cups. So you can't take a paper cup out with you or anything. So you've got to bring your own, your own or buy one there. So I'm bringing my own keep cup as such. And then I'm also going to put my water bottle on this side. Um, I'm also going to be taking obviously a book. I've got tissues. I've got my little mini tripod for my phone. Um, I've also got some battery packs. Um, I've got this little pouch, <coughs> which has got passports, money, um, insurance prints out, printed out, boarding passes, all in here. Um, I also have an umbrella. I feel like an umbrella is a little bit of a staple because it's only, it's only a little mini black one. So I'm just gonna throw that in here as well. And I think I'm pretty good to go. Oh, I'm going to bring my hair straighteners and tongs. I know that seems a bit much, but I thought, you know what? If I'm actually going to make an effort and actually wanting to do my hair nice, I love a tong. I love my little 
pearl wand but also I quite like my hair when it's straight and I feel like I feel like I just want to bring my straighteners and they're quite thin there's already hair dryers in there they have laundrettes so they have um ironing boards if you need to iron I think I'm gonna have to iron a couple of things like trousers <coughs> and my dress but um yeah I would say that I'm pretty much set I just need to get everything in and I'll let you know if it's all fitted because yeah I've got to make sure I've got enough space I need to add a couple of bottles of Prosecco in there you can take up to one litre of alcohol per person and because I'm not but I've decided not to do a drinks package. I'm taking five mini bottles of Prosecco. My mum doesn't drink, so um, I need to fit that in there as well. I want to be a weekend lover. Yeah, I'm going to be the best damn lover you got. I want to mess up your covers. my runners so I I know this seems it's obsessive bringing that many pairs of shoes but obviously they all have different purposes I've got my hiking ones my heel my flat and then these are runners but I need these because obviously not just the gym but when I go to kayaking they did say obviously wear suitable footwear but these dry ridiculously quick these are so kind of like they're just like this weird like mesh so I feel like if I got wet, then I wouldn't have any problem with drying these out. Unlike the hiking shoes, I feel like they're a lot more thicker. So I'm gonna bring these. They are well loved, well worn. These are the Nike Zooms. I'm gonna add them in as well. just got my makeup bag and my toiletries which I will put in obviously tomorrow and then I'm just going to throw in some snacks around the kind of edges There's still quite a bit of room in here I always find like I'm just in my routine with my own sort of coffee and stuff so I always bring like the unsweetened cappuccinos um, I did get the millionaire's mocha from Costa because I think my mum would really like that <coughs> but also I got single sachets of my vital proteins collagen and also the bullet um, proof mct oil which is again what i put in my coffee every single morning i just i like to keep it kind of routine it makes me feel good i've got some decaf tea bags as well because sometimes i could i like a decaf tea at night um so i'm gonna put those in here Right, and I think we are done. Um, yeah, I'll just, I'll just pop these on top. Um, they will fit in there. And these are so squished, but because they're so fluffy, they just look like they're taking up lots of room, but it's not too bad. And then I've just added my hat and my sunglasses under there. But yeah, we've still got, still got plenty of room to breathe, you know? So yeah, that is pretty much everything I am taking on my seven night cruise on the fjords. I'm definitely not looking forward to repacking this because I think that's going to be another story. But um, yeah, let me know if you think I've overpacked. I probably have, but um, I'm just trying to think of making sure that I've just got enough really. Um, enough layers, like I said, stuff to wear in the evenings and... It's quite, yeah, it's quite a long time, seven nights, when you think of the days and the evenings as well, and then obviously doing the extra activities that we're doing. I just want to make sure that I've got enough and cover all bases for all weathers. But anyway, I really hope you enjoyed this video. I hope it's been useful, hopefully, and I will see you in my next one.